Hey, Jeff. So also, <laughs> I'm driving. I keep... I, I hope this is quick enough. I'm not going to make it quick enough because it's me. But um, I, hope, I I keep thinking about, um, you know, what, what I sent you, um, the end times paralysis. There's another thing that kind of always has me suspicious. I'll, I'll like... Um, yeah, I mean, in a good way, not like in a suspicious because I'm on a warship suspicion. I just, um, so a big thing, I even, I think I sent you the Gunger band and some of like the website that they wrote things. And, um, you know, I, he was pointing out the presidency that we, we voted for this guy over Hillary, the woman, and it could have been the first woman president. And he was like kind of exalting that. But I was like, a lot of people weren't just hateful to women or couldn't handle a woman president. It was like she clearly had um, problems in her ideologies and stuff. And so some people will question that. And um, I don't know, sometimes I think maybe sometimes they're wrongly, their, their claims against communism or socialism are like kind of, you know, they don't have the best claims against it. But I mean, if you really look into the academia of it, it's, it there's some major concerns about going communist and things like that and and I think like sometimes the Democrats really kind of teeter on that line purposely or they just are don't know what they're doing you know but anyway Gunger I, I mean or they just don't know any better I don't know but I mean clearly some politicians clearly know about the Bible or, 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 or many of them are even Christians or religious people you know affiliated with Christianity or what whatever and they kind of leverage you know morality from the bible to kind of win votes or just to make assure people they're christians um and that that's motivating some of their uh you know uh justifying some of their policies or their their thinking or something so anyway my thing with um um working together uh like or kind of there's a big mantra about it's it's not us and versus them it's uh, us for them like you know so like even william craig lane he's so scriptural like people can be like so scriptural and inerrancy and bible and you only check it with scripture and and god's word is so you know different than man's descriptions of it and things like that and, and these are people like pretty staunch with bible inerrancy like i think william craig lane would even take pastor larry to task and i think pastor larry knows what he's talking about um, and, or, you know, maybe has just one unique purpose that he's living out. And, but I mean, I think about the Bible and the context and the academia parts and the theological parts there, there would be basically saying the same thing. Whereas like William Craig Lane would be like, well, if it's not in the Bible though, you know, and he'd get very particular about some of the nuances there and, and, and rightfully so. I mean, I guess I'm kind of going, thinking that through too often, you know, um, seeking divine counsel not man's wisdom and man's counsel and man's doctrines or but anyway there's so much in the bible where that distinguishes jesus as sort of so different and he makes that clear why he's so different and like one thing he says um is that i come to bring division not peace and like so his perfect peace is sort of like going to create a division with many people. I mean, he was killed. Like, you know, so I kind of feel like sometimes with the social justice, modern mantras of Christianity where, where, where that we've been hearing in the last few years and, and like why even Pastor Larry got flack, um, uh, you know, like all, there, like it revealed some stuff that people really thought about um, God's love or what, like doing action. So like where, at that time it was kind of like yeah it's not us versus them it's like we have to love the lost we have to love the least of these the 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 broken sinner like larry's always wants that one person who's coming in to get a different experience they're one lost sheep and jesus wouldn't keep them out kind of you know and and he's you know so there's an element of the brand new person coming to christ that there should be this deep love unconditional love or you know that the church should be aware that Jesus is for this lost soul, this lost wandering person. And we'll give up the night, you know, leave the 99 to get the one. And that's a very vital thing. Like we can get in these compartments of Christianity and 
safe places and clubs and and yet people will uphold the word and everything there and i and i i that creates controversy one but if somebody's willing to go there like you and i can talk about it or, or write to each other and agree to disagree or just i don't even know we're just writing what we think and and there's no real you know it's just a dialogue like you talked about so i think that um that's a thing is that that concerns me is that y- even william craig lane and that podcast i don't know if the one i sent you but there was one i listened to a bunch yesterday and and there was an element where they were like it's not us versus them you know like and they were trying to push to this god's love uh, element but then i'm kind of like but jesus said there it was going to be a division like if you see politically people be like oh they're causing division and it's like well who's causing like in the current sake circumstances like there's so many nuances of like Oh, we we like the lockdowns. We we need the lockdowns. And if you if you're not into lockdowns, then you you want to kill old people or something. But then like abortion, they kind of let that they let they go. No, it's personal liberty. You know, pro choice. You know, masks. I want it to be pro choice too. Then no, it can't. You're killing people. It's not a choice now. You know, it's like like you should. That's bad. And like there was demonization and even blame and scapegoating. Um, now they might have just been media might have been just leveraging that. But my point is that like we end up sort of they say oh we're all in this together and then you're like well rich people who you know are people who trust funds or people who have enough money can maybe hide away for a couple years and that that'll work for a little while for them but then at some point it's not going to work now maybe you just thought it was going to be temporary and you know you just have to lock down for a few months or a year or whatever but then it's going to have its price to pay you know and some people need it to keep moving on and there's an element of there's a division there you know like um th- like like some people in some political realms were like saying you're causing division. There was even a lot of criticism that capitalists or Republicans were the ones creating the division. And sometimes when you stand for what's right, it creates division because, but people are saying, no, you're the, you're the evil one. But then it's like, well, what do you really believe deeply about everything? You, you, okay. You're not a racist. You don't want to see racism, but what's your moral compass on everything in life? You know, it's like, cause when there's a certain form of liberalism that you're like, oh, well, who's to say who they sleep with and who, what marriage is? I mean, really? Like we're, we're, we're evolved from that now, you know? So, I mean, there's an identity crisis in a way. And I think Jesus is like, you become this new creation, but then you're following this God, the God, the, the God who, 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 who was murdered by his own creations, who rejected the simplicity of his, true love it that he would expose it in the hearts easily basically basically calling out the people that are wearing the robes of the temples and and things like that and like he calls them out and and they're still like saying the law and they knew the law and they would talk about righteousness and morality but then he knew their hearts and he exposed that and that bothered them so deeply that they were so infuriated you know not just the Pharisees, but like even just people who encountered was like, uh, wait a minute. And I would just say that that's what happened to me is like, you're kind of like, I guess I was so stunned by this. And once it was in my heart and in, and he haunted me with this Holy Spirit in a way, it was like, not like a negative haunting, but you know, I guess it, it can be perceived as not haunting, like ghost, you know, going to hollow scream or some kind of ghost haunted house, but you know, a haunting of like, it was like, wow, you know, this is it. That's the truth. And it, oh my gosh, and I reject the truth or I, I find my own ways and it's your way. And oh my gosh, I was so blind and now I can see, you know, it's kind of like this, oh my God, I wake up to this thing. And, and now it's like, there, it, there's a division in the world and how it's perceived and what truth is, how it's perceived. And you're sort of like, no, it's this. And they're like, uh, no, I don't like that. But then they might agree with a portions of it, you know, the providential truths and stuff. And, but then kind of there's certain areas. Well, it's like, well, you know, and so, I mean, I think love, you know, when Christians love, we can transcend that, but I don't think it should, I don't think it should be pagan secularized compromising love because there's an element of that's virtue signaling outwardly, you know? So I think that's one of the nuances that, you know, we're seeing, in this, these times, or maybe it happened in every time. I mean, maybe it's not the end times, but in many times that if Jesus is God or that was the story and, and, um, he's not just some special teacher or or wasn't made up. I mean, it sort of creates this, it pulls this new thing to the surface sort of. And then, you know, there, there's consistency there in a way, you know, 
Um, but anyway, I just wanted to get explain that part too. All right. Love you, ma'am.